going to talk about actually using quilts for really something other than a, a bedspread. Yes. So it's summertime, well, almost summertime. It's going to be 83 degrees today, so that feels like summer. And it gets hot outside. And so we stop thinking about quilts as being something that you you know, need because it's hot outside. But we use quilts all the time in the summer. Always. And we're going to talk about a bunch of different kinds of quilts that we use in the summer. And we're going to call them pretty much all a utility quilt. And by utility quilt, we mean a quilt that gets used. This is not an heirloom. This is not a wall hanging. This is not going in somebody's chest or cabinet to be these are These are ones that are to be time and all used and eventually worn out. I mean, hopefully over time. A long period of time, but, but let's use it. We're going to use it. So, Jen brought this one. So I'm we were digging through our closets to like our closets. Like my closet is floor to ceiling quilts. Um, with stuff we have, and this is one that we use a lot in my house. And it does, it's not fancy. It's just squares sewn together. Um, Although this was quality fabric. This is definitely quality fabric. I would like to tell you I made this when I was 16. Uh, that was 22 years ago. Ouch. So it's been around. It's got a dark blue fabric. I did hand quilt it, so it's not like... I'd like you guys to see her binding, you it's guys. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> guys, this is horrible. But you know what? We all start somewhere. I'm, I, I'm not even kind of embarrassed by it because I was 16 and this was my first quilt. So life is good. Yeah. Um, anyway, I just, all of you guys think that everything she makes is perfectly perfect. So I just really want to show you her bite. <laughs> right. It's, <laughs> so it's that you know. pretty amazingly bad. Guess what? We all bad. start somewhere. <laughs> it's pretty amazingly bad. But that's okay. I'm not bothered by it. But this is one that we use all the time. It's for picnics. It's for um, camping. It's for everything. When so, we were about 15, 16, our grandmother... It was a Christmas present. It was a Christmas she present. She gave me a quilt Bought kit. each of us a quilt kit. And it was a pre-cut. Like, all these squares were already cut. I mean, it had the backing. The binding was scrappy. So um, it came it came cut, and, and I made it. And no, the seams don't all line up and all that kind of jazz. But it yeah. is what it is. So but even it's our a, less than perfect quilts and even are guys, awesome. It's special. It's from my grandma. It's what got... It's it, into this kind of thing. This was the it. first one I ever made, we, we and I use it. it. And you know what? I don't need to keep it forever. I mean, it's special to me, and that's why it doesn't just get locked away. But I think it's more special because it gets used. It is. Well, because every time I see it, I think of Grandma. I don't, you know, and, and, that's, and that's special to me. You know, even if it's not gorgeous and perfect, and yes, it is getting worn out, but it's over 20 years old, so I don't feel bad. Okay, All right. so... That's what we mean, utility quilts. We're going to use it all over the place. So we're going to talk now, about different summertime quilts. Some will be light, some will some not will be. Some will be light, some will be heavier. Where shall we start? Let's start Let's with talk about soccer. Soccer. You guys have seen this quilt a few thousand times. There's still grass on the back of it. It got pulled out of the back of my husband's truck this morning. I mean, the bed of the truck this morning. <laughs> right. You guys. Friend. Right. Um, This is a... Sweetwater canvas panel that I got from Moda. It's it, it's legitimately canvas. It's a full 60 inch panel. I just quilted it with some mammoth flannel on the back. You guys, seriously, there's grass on here. Right. This quilt, well, after living in the shop forever, lives in my car or my husband's truck at the moment, and it comes to every soccer game and every soccer practice with us ever. And well, I have because... three kids in soccer, which is a lot of soccer games and a lot of soccer practice. But it's great because we lay it on, now I'm covering well, grass. Well, sometimes you're sitting in a chair and you're cold because, you know, sometimes you freeze to death it's at soccer. It's spring and it's freezing in the Other morning. times it's a nice, gorgeous day and you lay it on the ground and you enjoy the sunshine. I was say, I was doing some pattern editing the other day at soccer practice. It was like 75 degrees and sunny and I am laying on my blanket. Sorry, I called it a blanket. Yes, I did. And um, <laughs> really enjoying... The beautiful weather. The beautiful weather. And so, like, this seriously is a utility quilt. I post the picture I posted about this video is of my kids on it at their three year old brother's soccer game, is what we do. Right. Some of them are smaller. Now, one thing we like when we do utility quilts is you know, Liz and I love to put Minky on the back. We don't. If this is going to be used for a picnic, if it's going to be used for. Um, 
anything on the lawn. Soccer games, anything that's really not on a bed or the couch. Minky is not a great option because you can see the flannel there picked up a lot of grass. Minky will get more. Yeah. And it's going to get worn and it's going to get washed. And, and anyway, a we lot. Don't like none of these quilts in this pile. Well, okay, I lied. There's one quilt in this one. pile that has Minky on it, and you'll see why. None of them have Minky on it. And it's because Minky is not the best utility back, despite right. how much we love it. Right. Flannel I mean, also isn't, but it makes this quilt nice and warm for soccer. And it's right. dark, and it's fine with me. Right, and that depends on what you like there. So we do like to have usually a cotton on the back, and you'll notice like the back of this one, not white. Which is why it's great for a table topper or something, because it's got that dark color. And dark, that, dark and that is can good. make things hold up longer. We don't want a white back. That being said, you can still use your quilts with white. I use this quite a bit with... Um, picnics and stuff. I mean, it's springy. It's flowers and bees. and I mean, But the back is... But the back is purple ombre. So, so again, not bright colors, but it holds up just fine. If my kids spill chocolate milk on it, it goes in the wash. I don't let it sit in the truck for a week. It goes right in the wash. Yep. But we've used this one quite a bit. And even with its solid white, you just got to wash your stuff. It comes out just fine. Grab bullseye. Bullseye. So now, on that same note, if you're scared of solid white, here's another great option in our ombre collection here. We have also with an ombre quilts. back, but she used a low volume. What we mean by low volume is this background reads as white. It's not solid white. It's actually Clearly. awesome text. And no, it's totally out of print and we can't get it for you. I've asked Cindy Cloward. She hasn't reprinted it. Despite the fact that she has a whole bolt in her stash. I know. That I, I might want to raid, raid her stash. It's a Jane Austen text print. So if you right. have any if questions if about why it's so awesome, it's because it's Jane Austen text. It's Jane Austen and newspaper print and multidirectional. So with arrows. all the best things. So all, all good things. And so I hoarded it forever. I still have five yards. And um, not I finally me. used it in this project. And uh, But it makes it great for this project because, once again, I can let it go outside with my kids. And because it's not a solid white, it can get dirty and not show it. Yep. So we love that. Okay. Um, what, do you want to go into camping? Let's or go let's... into camping. Okay, grab let's, that one. Let's talk about camping. This is my camping quilt, you guys. I um, We don't have a RV or a trailer or anything. Right, we camp in but, but my husband and I do have a giant air mattress because... I'm not a savage and I don't sleep on the ground. <laughs> I say I've given birth to four children and my hips don't take it. Also, same thing. So this is my camping quilt. This fits on my giant air mattress when we go camping. You guys, it has a red back and white on the front. I've washed it quite a few times. Guess what? The front's not pink. Quality fabric, folks. It makes a difference. Anyway, I made this years ago. It was one of the first things we quilted on Mom's Machine. Hence which the is red why it thread. has red variegated thread on white because I didn't know better. Um, also, we all come from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could this is why when you mistakes. come in with the quilt to be long-armed, and you're like, I'd like red thread on my white quilt, then I say, no, no, you don't. It's because I did it already. <laughs> now, once. if you love this, we'll do it for you. Yes. But, but I don't love it. I don't. I don't either. But everyone has their own taste, and that's just This fine. is also true. Okay, so, but this quilt goes camping with me all the time. It's been washed a lot, and uh, holds up great. It works great. Um, and I really love having that extra layer when we go camping because I like my bed when I'm camping to feel like a normal bed. And that right. requires a quilt, not just a sleeping bag. Well, and we tend to add quilts anyway, whether it's softness below you or Layers an above. extra layer on top. Because, you know, I mean, this is Idaho. If you're not from Idaho, you may not be familiar with our weather. Um, when you go in the mountains, it can be nice and warm and gorgeous during the day, and you will freeze to death at night. So no you death. have to plan for all the seasons in one day when you're in the mountains, especially the higher you get in elevation. So when we go camping, we also bring winter clothing because you gotta. Speaking of, <laughs> this, is, this is designed to be a cabin quilt. <laughs> log cabins. Log, log cabins. This is a cabin quilt. I am also going to tell you I only have one kit of this left for the history of ever. Right. So if you like it, speak now. Anyway, um, it's sideways. We've made but several this kits. This quilt is flannel on the front. It's nice and big. And it's got a heavy batting in it. And I put minky on the back. So the idea is this can go in your cabin. It can this live will there. be nice and warm. 
up in the mountains. And, you know, it's got a nice cabin-y feel. But let's, you know, we put the Miki on the back because yeah. it's made to be kind of a bed quilt in a right. cabin. My mom keeps threatening to take it. I keep threatening not to let her. Right. Although she's the one with the cabin, so maybe I should. Right. I, I still have a cabin. Speaking also. Okay. This is a camper quilt. This is a camper quilt, not a cabin quilt. Why? What's the difference, Jen? All right. The well, why do we say it's different? Campers don't stay as warm as cabins. Okay. This is Maywood flannel on the front. If you know our opinions on flannel, That's Maywood the is the best flannel out there. Actually, some of our distributors openly admit they're like, my flannel's number two or my flannel's number three because they know they can't beat Maywood flannel. Okay, so this is Maywood flannel front and back. It is also a deluxe cotton batting, so it's six ounces instead of four ounces. This thing is heavy and warm and warm. So it's awesome in the camper or even camping. I mean, with the flannel, I would, t I would put this in a tent. It's gonna wash yeah. up just fine because Maywood does wash up just fine. But it's that extra nice and warm, campy, so camper. So speaking of like cool. batting options for yes. a utility quilt, so um, we have all kinds. This one is a thick, heavy cotton. You can do a lightweight cotton if you want something that's a little more of a picnic throw. Um, this one has a white back, so it's not really meant to be a picnic quilt. This is meant to be a summer quilt. Right. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. You guys have all probably seen my exploding heart before. If you haven't, well, it's sideways all over the internet. Um, okay. So it's the exploding heart on the back of this. Please don't mind that the whites don't match. I didn't care because I wanted this on the back. The back on this quilt is a cotton lawn, mm -hmm. a lawn print, a lawn fabric is a very lightweight fabric. It's thin, it's soft, and it's just super it's light. It's really airy, which is lovely. It makes for a really soft, nice back. And inside this quilt is four ounce bamboo. Also light, also soft, also airy. So this is meant to be a summer throw. This is the type of quilt you can throw on you when it's still warm in the house, but you want something on top. Well, I mean, I'm the type of person I need weight to sleep. Like yeah. a sheet's not quite sufficient, a blanket or a quilt sometimes can be too heavy. So that's when I love like my bamboo quilts because they give me that weight and that comfort of being wrapped up in a, in a quilt, in a blanket. I, I call them blankets too. Sorry. Sorry to anyone that that offends. Um, but it, it's not the heat. So I love that yeah. about so the bamboo. So it's just the comfort factor without making it hot. Now... Another totally wow. different. I have a pile going on over lining here. here. I don't know if you can see so, it, but it's a mountain. You've seen this one before too. This is my garden wall that used Robin Pick and Solana, and it's multicolored on both sides, so it can. It doesn't matter. I call it my two-sided quilt, but all quilts are two-sided. It's two-sided reversible. It's I don't reversible know what it quilt. is. Take your pick. Um, but I used a wool batting. Now, wool is also drapey. It can be lightweight, but that's where I get that loft. Um, but wool so is beautiful like for a quilt to take places for multiple reasons because it breathes. So it's not super hot in the summer, but it keeps you warm in the winter. Wool is like awesome. I, yeah, I don't know how it can. I don't know. Breathe really nice in the summer and be warm in the winter, but it is. But it is. So if you know the science behind that, let me know. So I I love wool for a utility quilt too because we're also using. This is the other question I was going to ask. This has already been felted, so it is washable. Yes. All of my quilts have to be washable. I have four young children. Everything has to work in the washer and dryer. I don't have time to line dry everything, for reals. So, I use a lot of wool batting. It also comes out of my dryer. My quilt doesn't look like a hamster sweater, so I'm not worried about it. Yep. So, okay, the last, this one is a great 60 by 60 throw with a busy back. Busy backs are also good because they can get dirty. Right. It's a, this is a really good picnic quilt. Lots of summer. Summer. If, Lots if it, of color for summer. If it summer, got a little stain here or here, no, you'd never find you're it. You're never going to find it. I mean, you might know where it is, but try and point it. Have a guest find it. They won't find it. Okay. And last is Doggo. Doggo. So I use a new back that we have in the shop on this, which I love. These are peppered cottons. This is a peppered cotton. It's orange, which is awesome. Um, what these are is a, they're woven, okay? The warp and the weft are two different colors, which give it this textured look and kind of almost an iridescent look where you're not 
totally sure what color it is, but that also gives it depth, and so it doesn't have that perfect flat look of, of a, solid. a solid to where if there's any issue, you're going to see it. Not to mention they're really soft. And they're super soft. And they're I, awesome. I love, love them. I love the peppered cotton. I use the peppered cotton on the back of this. This is the Doggo quilt kit using woof, woof. Oh, oh, woof. Woof. Oh, oh, woof. from Art Gallery fabrics. So it's got Art Gallery fabric on the front. If you've never used Art Gallery, it's got a different hand to it. It's yeah. almost like a super soft batik. Yes. And so it's really soft on the front. It's got a very thin batting in it because, once again, I kind of intended this to be a summer quilt. outdoorsy quilt. And then that dark peppered cotton back. Another thing that I like that makes this a good utility quilt is that it is huge. It didn't take very long to piece because huge It's pieces. really simple. And um, it didn't cost a fortune because it's a very efficient use of huge pieces of fabric. Right. And so that makes it easy to take a quilt outside or to make it usable. When you've spent $500 on a Judy Niermeyer kit, you do not want to take that thing outside. Okay? No. You just don't. This is a $90 big old quilt. It's great. Take it outside, play with it, work it, let it, let it live. Let it get worn out. <laughs> let it, yeah. Let, let it live. My let kids it do play something. with all of my quilts. There's no heirlooms in my house. And that's well, okay. Well, I have, you know, I have a few of mine that are, you know, hand appliqued and custom quilted. And they are used occasionally. They're usually on the ladder or something displayed. This so I have. This is the first quilt I've ever labeled. Good job. I have time. my quilts that are, I'm like, no, the, too much work went into this to get dragged out of the house. I yeah, will put true. it they on a bag, necessarily go on out a bed. The mud. So there are some of those quilts that I'm absolutely like, yeah, this is not going on my eight-year-old son's bed because he's going to rip buttons off. Or, you know, it's going to be an issue. Um, so I totally understand where, like, some, there's just too much. Uh, on the other hand, I've had people get on my case when they see a picture of one of my dogs laying on a quilt because my dogs get on the couch on my quilt and I'm like, it's washable. Plus, I like my dogs. So, yeah. and you know, he, maybe someday I'll make a bed for him. I haven't cared that much yet. you got too much other stuff to do. I, I buy them beds. Anyway, so... I guess our point is there's lots of options for quilts in the summertime. We use them for everything, clearly. And we want you to use your quilts. That's the point. That's why we make them, right? Well, so that and, people can use and them. And, you know, it's like the one with the kit I got from Grandma. Using that makes me think of her. If I just had it in a closet, tucked away, and I saw it every five years or so, it's not going to have that same emotional impact as it does using it. So when you see one of your grandkids dragging your quilt around or maybe wrapping themselves in, and their dog up in it, you know, instead of feeling that, oh my goodness, they're not respecting my work, understand that, you know, wrapping themselves up in that quilt, it's, it's like a hug from grandma. It means something. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just going to be happier if we look at things that way. Yep, for sure. So have a fun, we're going to talk summer some more. Yeah, but we're talking more summer enjoy next Enjoy the warm weather and enjoy your quilting. And I hope you have warm weather. My hope. friend in Denver got snow oh, last well, week. It's warm here. That's why I don't live in Denver. No kidding. Anyway, um, but okay. have fun and show me your quilts outside. I'd love to see your quilts outside. I would love outside. to see your quilts outside. Because outside's a great place to be. I spent five hours yesterday sitting on a chair in my yard binding. I was like, sweet, this is a great work from home day because I had two quilts to bind. It was great. It was great. Awesome. I wish I could work like that every day. Yeah, you can't. We got you other can't. stuff to do. I got other stuff to do. Anyway. All right. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye. guys.